welcome to the Bad Inputs Podcast. Oh, uh, Every week we aim to bring you the best in gadgets, technology, cooking, and chicanery yeah, that well, is within chicanery. our realm. We're mostly chicanery. Yeah, mostly chicanery. I'm Master your Ball. ghostly host, Nation. Toki. I am here with Yole and this is CJ Ferg. Boys, how are you guys doing today? I'm good. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. Fantastico. I'm playing some fun ass games lately. I played. I played a couple of games I missed early on, so and then obviously games. the newest one. This is this is post God of War release for dating this episode. How you doing over there? Oh, I'm good. You know, playing one, two games, two games, two games. Oh, is it games, Overwatch and The games. Witcher. Overwatch and The Witcher. The Witcher and Overwatch. That's it. That's huh? it. We're going to talk about video games. I can't hear nothing video about video games. Lives or your well being as a human being. Oh, my life's fucking boring. Like, like, overall, like, it's not like I go fucking all these Yeah, but you're healthy. Places. Yeah, that's you're nice. healthy. I'm working out more, but it's like, See? my fucking. Working out more? What are you doing to work out? Like, using insanity. Fuck that shit. Easy. No, it's like, <laughs> you know what it's like. That shit's hard. I couldn't even do the first workout. I, I did I did about half of it, and I couldn't fucking finish the rest of it. The second one, I did I did well, though. So mm. it's. I'm, uh, I'm slowly but surely getting into it. It's just fucking tough, though. What's the schedule like for it? It should be every day. I haven't done it every day. Every I'm, day for how long? For 60 days. Ooh. No, no, no. How long? How, how much is the time you do a day? Oh, it's like 40 minutes about. Oh, that's not yeah. bad. It's usually, it's about 30, because if you don't include the warm-up, like, it's it's about 30. Mm. But that shit, okay. is, that shit is rough, man, because it's, cause it's the interval training, so it's something where you're not supposed to take a lot of breaks yeah. in between, so you're just fucking... You're just like, oh, hey, you know that really, like, you just did four exercises in a row that you worked your ass off to do? Okay, you're going to take 30 seconds, and then you're going to do them again, but faster. Yeah. Yep. And you're just like, fuck. I like that kind of training. That's what I'm telling you to do it. Yeah, I know. I'm, like, thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Because I like working out at home. I like circuit training. I like (sighs) just doing, like, day, like, an hour. Like, what's that out of my day? Just, like, an hour. Like, what? I'll do it with y'all. I'll do the first month again with y'all. Oh, man. We can do it. Okay. Yeah. Nah, it's you yeah. just gotta get it. Mm-hmm. That's the key it. word. You just probably get torn it. it somewhere, I'd imagine. Oh, everywhere. I don't yeah. think I don't. I type in the workout, and it's on some like Russian website. As long as you have like ad blocker, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. just watch it. Oh, there you go. See, easy, uh, easy peasy. Some people put it on for free on some websites on their blogs. That's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. That makes things ten times easier rather than having to pay like fucking. Because I, I I looked at the on demand thing. It's like it's like a hundred bucks for the whole year. Whoa. Whoa. Which, I mean, it's not that bad if you get to pay it monthly, but I think you have to pay it all up front. Mm, no. This no. is a lot of money. Torrent that shit. Yeah, Workout programs. That. Fun for everyone. But they kind of fail. It failed me. Only because I failed it. By yeah. not sticking to the diet. It's very, it, that sounded... It really is true, though. And mm. dieto. If you don't diet, oh, diet there's no point. Really? Uh, dieto. <laughs> what? That's not diet in Spanish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I speak Spanish. Como? Si. Sí. No. ¿Qué Pero, pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Huh? ¿Qué yeah. pasa? No, ¿qué pasa? Tu pasa. Oh, my God. <laughs> tu pasa. <laughs> E3 is an event where all the clowns from around the world gather in Los Angeles, California to get nerds boners erect for the future of gaming. Uh, We're going to talk about that. I've been erect since the Smash announcement. Not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about That's part of E3. Else. Not going to talk about your boner. No, it's not. Oh. Stop trying to make. No, I'm not saying my boner is part of E3. <sighs> you said people were getting hard. I was, it's called improv. I'm trying to yes, yes and you with my boner. I'm not a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, well, so Smash is gonna be that's gonna be cool. They're gonna be fucking invitational for all the games. For all the like, there's gonna be arms and they're doing that shit again this year. Um, invitational. Yeah. So they're gonna try out the games. Wait. Well, what so does they, that they, mean? they basically get like well-known YouTubers, maybe a Smash Pro or two, and then well, I don't know some other random ass adult to like all play Smash Brothers and they're like Team Jacob wins in a tournament. Oh. Yeah. So Zero can come back. Probably he, will. For he that. might, but he's not going to be. But he, he's going to be playing with items on. They never do competitive because it's oh, okay. the way they play Smash Brothers. Mm. They're not going to. Yeah, it's. 
Let's go. Is that the same one where Reggie fucking tried to fight Hungry Box? He's like, I'm gonna kick your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Next time really... we fight, I'm gonna kick your ass. That shit was so funny. And then he got beat up. <laughs> and it made me sad because fucking Reggie goes and plays Ryu. Probably doesn't even know how to play the motherfucker. And then he just, he just gets uh, killed by a Jigglypuff. It made me sad. <laughs> and angry bullshit. and sad. This is 2014. Bushy, bushy, bushy. It's all over the place. Yeah. Uh, can't reach it. And look at this. Fucking arm. So in 2014, they had a really cool Smash Invitational, and the people you know now that are top players were there back then to show off the game coming out to the notorious Wii U. Yep. And so they're doing the same damn thing. Eloy, hmm? who do you want to see in Smash 5? Uh, Characters-wise? Yeah. Who do you not want to see in Smash 5? Who do I not want to see in Smash 5? Yeah. Who do I not want? Bayonetta. Yeah. Any, any of the DLC characters? I'd see. I'd see Rosalina. Is what's, she down? What's DLC? wrong with What's wrong with Ryu? Ryu was a. Uh, I'd see Ryu. I, I guess. I, I guess. I no. I wouldn't. <laughs> nah. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Which is the hard part? I guess that's a, yeah. what you are having trouble with. It's probably what the developers are having trouble with now, and that's what everyone wants out of Nintendo. I think for the most part for E three. Who go main Smash? Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know. I mean, I could see, I could see Ryu leaving. They're not Bayonetta's not going to leave only because she's a Nintendo property. She's, oh, she's really? There. Like, yeah, I would imagine that she's staying there. And she's, and she was so popular enough where people voted her in. So there are going to be people in the casual sphere are going to be like, "Fuck that! Why'd you take Bayonetta out of the game?" For that that bitch was third. What? You, what? That was, she was a technicality. What do you mean? Remember? Oh, she was third. Yeah. Well, because all the other two ones were like, "Uh, no, you guys are stupid. We can't get the license for that." Fuck her. Uh, yeah. But so, yeah, so they, on yeah, the Nintendo side, we'll probably see the new Smash stuff. Um, uh, uh, any, I'm not really uh, sure. I'm not sure, else. yeah. Maybe some news for the 3D Pokemon Probably like game. Project Octopath Traveler or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. Probably show, yeah they're going to show games that they've already shown, but maybe, maybe they tease Pokemon or Metroid, but I doubt it. Hmm. I doubt they're going to tease those. Hmm. Uh, maybe a new Pikmin game besides Hey You Pikmin or whatever the fuck it was called. A lot hey of Pikmin. Me, yeah, that's all I could think about. The stuff they kind of teased before. Yeah. But what's going on on the Microsoft side? On the Xbox. Nothing. Xbox Underdog of the Year. Why does Xbox, Xbox suck so much? Underdog of the All. What did you say? I said, why does Xbox suck so much? Well, then, that's rude, sir. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't appreciate that. So well, expensive. what games are coming out? Well, so if you don't like exclusives, Xbox is, uh, Xbox is great. If you like exclusives, then PlayStation's good. <laughs> um, sir, have you heard of Halo? <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Huh. Yeah, when I was like five years old. Um, excuse me. Nice to meet you, Phil Spencer. Something something. Oh oh, of Microsoft. Now hey, you've lost some weight, man. Thank you. <laughs> I look good in my blazer slash graphic tee. I aim to please. <laughs> 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 Can we do? Are we doing a drunk E three thing this year? No, I work. <laughs> Oh, Actually, damn. on the weekend, yeah, because that's when all the important shit's happening. Yeah, that's on true. the weekend. If we do Saturday, we can do it. Yeah, sorry, Sunday. Going yeah, yeah uh, we can do sorry. E3 drunk bingo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fun as fuck. I aim to bring you the best exclusives to the Microsoft Xbox. Do you? Like what? Like what? Another Halo. <laughs> and then, oh, have you heard of Halo? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out behind you. It's not one, but it's Halo 2. <laughs> Tomb Raider, almost. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that we thrive on third party. PUBG. Mm. Yeah, player unknown. Yeah, for now. Yeah, what up, bros? <laughs> Cuphead. Just, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Am I right, boys? <laughs> All right? Look at those mims. What about Fortnite? Where do you guys think Fortnite's going to be at E3? How big of like of a, like of a marketing thing? You think they're gonna be like with one team in particular, or they're gonna be just all over Los Angeles? That would be the smart thing to do. To I, me. I mean, I think so. I, I feel like, like I I almost feel like it's sort of immaculate at this point. I'm, I'm not even sure how much you really need to do. <laughs> like, like truly, I mean, yeah. that game is so big. Like, so I, I mean, you, it wouldn't hurt to do anything big at E3, but if they didn't, it also I feel like wouldn't hurt them at all. Mm -hmm. Like. That's yeah, true. They're just, yeah, it's true. like it's just its own entity right now. I feel like it's there'd be more crazy. like bonus content just to just to download and like things to buy, like separate things to play within the game. Because why not? Tease more modes. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? Actually, to your point, Eloy. Yeah, they might tease a new mode at the same time. 
yeah. on stage with something like gimmicky. Yeah. Bring out Ninja and Drake. No, that's going to happen. Ninja and Drake. You think they'd do that again? Ninja and Drake. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, there's like a Drake yeah. skin that they, you can buy and you look like Drake in they, Fortnite. They're going to be at E3. Probably. You know, like, I can see that. I wouldn't be surprised. Buck Wild. Where else would you reveal a new Fortnite song? I guess it was, Oh, that's right. And then, yeah, oh my God, I can build see up. it now. Build him up, build him up, build him up, build him up, break him down. Singing Hotline Blade, <laughs> and then fuck Kill him. me. Build him up, build him up, build him up, break him down. <laughs> I, 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 can, I can see him either reveal the emote with him doing Hotline Bling or him singing the Fortnite song to promote it. And then it goes, here's the new fucking Fortnite skin, or you get to be Drake. Orange. <laughs> the, fun, the new Drake skin. <laughs> Orange sniper rifle. I see you looking at me. You got that green gun to represent all over your envy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't build that fort and then fort up on my heart. Knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, it's almost too. My two. heart needs a launch pad. <laughs> there goes a bus of love. A hundred passengers, but the only one I see. <laughs> Is Drake a meme? Like, is he just a full blown meme at this point in his career? With the way he danced in Hotline Bling, he knows he is. Okay, I've been convinced. I've been convinced he has to know. He's got to be. He knows he's a full blown meme. Like all the time now. Even when he makes good songs, he's a meme. Can't fight it anymore. This is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt. You can be. You. I mean, if you're a meme, you're like. Always, always, forever. No, like, like LeBron James it will always be known as one of the best basketball players ever. But my God, he has a crying face. Yeah. And that shit is memey as hell, yeah. and he'll always be known for that. Will always be known for that. Like, even if you don't know shit about basketball, <laughs> like, it's just the facts. I, I don't know, man. I don't think Fortnite's gonna do. I don't think Fortnite doesn't need to do anything special. The only thing I could ever see them doing is announcing when it's not gonna be early access anymore. Mm-hmm. But I don't know when that's gonna Which be. Would suck. And I, well, I feel like they might actually charge a price at that point. They lose. I think they lose. Business. Would they lose business? I don't know, man. Depends how much you. I, I want to see how much they charge it for. Yeah, it depends on how much they charge. And also, don't forget they're doing new stuff every week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is nonsensical to me. What are your guesses? What are your guesses? How much it's going to be? I'd, I'd say, say thirty. I'd say twenty. If they want, I want them to be twenty. I can see it being thirty. Mm-hmm. It's worth thirty. But I feel like if they want to keep the audience they've got, it's got to be twenty. Because it's, it's, it's high enough where it's worth something, but it's also low enough where you're like, yeah, it's, hey, this is fine. Like, yeah, don't post like, all the bonus. People already buy stuff in it already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, AJ's bought stuff. I was oh, close yeah, I to that. buy. I'm probably going to buy fucking the pack, my next check. It's really? only 10 bucks, right? Is yeah. that what it is? I haven't checked any of the microtransactions. Yeah, the battle pass where you get a lot, a lot of the cool stuff is 10 I thought it was a lot more expensive than that, but I didn't know it was that cheap. So I was like, yeah, why no, not? That's not too bad for a whole pack. Yeah. Oh, wait, how does, it, how does it work? Do you just get the stuff that, that they advertise? Or is it like, oh, once in a, like in a random chance, you could get random stuff in this box? Like, what is it? Uh, Like, when you go into that unlockable menu, mm-hmm. that bottom row of stuff, yeah. that's all the stuff you unlock. It's so okay. like that itsy bitsy unlockable one thing at a time. It's like yeah. boom yeah. this, oh, boom you get all that. Okay, so yeah. it advertise. Oh, that's cool. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. So not to turn this into the Fortnite podcast, but we've been playing it a lot. It's this fun. is the first type of co-op game I played with people, and it's kind of hard to not yell and laugh out loud at eleven o'clock at night. Oh hell yeah! Mm-hmm. <laughs> not the shit that happened. Game is great. Yeah. We had a we had the moment yesterday where I, I had to run around the whole mountain because I went the wrong way. It's freaking ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best way I'll try to explain it. I landed not too far off away from Mason and AJ and Colin. I went to go find something, ran back. Like Mason and AJ, something happens to them. They got jumped or some shit. I died. Colin's running. We're all talking, trying to strategize what we're going to do next. Next plan of action. Colin's running the wrong way. And then <laughs> <laughs> he tries to turn around, tries to build uh, like stairs or ramps to go up a mountain and shortcut through. Oh, yeah. Colin doesn't have enough materials. <laughs> I was one ramp short. Are you serious? That's ridiculous. Dude. So I had to run back down the mountain. And start running around, Sounds and like I made freaking... it out of the storm just in time. But then, like two minutes later, I got shot in the head. <laughs> got capped. Yeah, and yeah. I, it was also I got if somebody they could hear the footsteps. And I didn't hear them until the last second. Like, you didn't hear the footsteps, and like last second, I already had been shot. Then oh, I screamed. Oh my god! And Sounds like a Looney Tunes skit. It was. <laughs> it was fun. 
But I had a good time. Now, even though I'm I'm not very good at that game because I still need you good at the building. The game's mm. fun as fuck. Yeah. If you're bad at that game or good at that game, it's still fun to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No matter Just what. the whole building ops aspect for me is challenging. But Same. it's so much fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's just this is what it is. Yeah, people at work talking about it just really? because. Yeah, everybody's talking about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's cross platform, too. You hear about, that, you hear about that kid who saw. He saw a tornado coming towards his house. No, you, you hear that? You, <laughs> no. A, okay, there's a kid, and he was saying like it was like like in like the fucking you know tornado alley area, like Bible Belt sort of place. And he was and he was on. It was apparently on his computer, and he was playing Fortnite, and he saw a tornado coming. And he said it was near the end of the game, so he did. top five. <laughs> he no didn't bust. stop, but then he but he didn't stop for a little bit. And then he saw it getting just a little bit more, a little closer, and he's like, "All right." Maybe now I could put the game. Yeah. Just before that, he was like, "I'd die before I'd rather not get top ten. Yeah, <laughs> pretty. That's basically what it was. Yeah, I, th- I think he probably possibly got shot, or he was like, oh, "Okay, wait, this is real life now." <laughs> like, Never mind. <laughs> the storm die. is coming. Yeah, but he was just he was all nonchalant about it. He's just like, "Oh, well, I mean, I had to get like top five. And you're just like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> like, so you straight up die. I guess it is right. We're talking about Fortnite since battle royales are going to be a thing in E3, also, oh, huh? God, kill me. So kill me now. What's it called? The the Cliff Blazinski. Have you seen this one, Eloy? No, I Cliff haven't. Cliff Blazinski making a friggin' Cl- Cliffy B. Cliff what? what? Who, huh? He's the guy, Cliffy B's the guy who made, you ever play uh, Jazz Jackrabbit? Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. oh, there you go. Yeah. He you, made that. <laughs> Gears, of, Gears of War. Yeah, that too. Oh, yeah, I like there that. Yeah. I forgot he did Gears of War. I like that shit. Even though it's like the thing he's probably most famous for. I, what's it called? Jazz Jackrabbit's better. What's it called? Cliff Bazinski. Cliff. Oh, Clinton Eastwood, hell yeah. Okay. I'm happy. I love my sand. I got yeah. sandbags in my sand. I can't hear you. All the sand is in my ears. I got sand. I got sand. I got sand. Wait, what fucking... Radical game? Heights. There you go. Oh, he made that? Yeah. Oh. I actually heard I actually heard that that game was actually pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty good, but it's extremely buggy. Yes, well, it's, it's early. I, I hate. I still hate that shit. No, this on. is like beyond early access. Oh, it's like alpha. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's alpha. Oh God, why are you? <laughs> what was that video? I no, hate. <laughs> I hate Roddy Combos. I, I don't really understand. I mean, we. I mean, we've talked about this extensively. How there's just, it's just okay to make unfinished games now, and it's just like. It sucks, I left man. that shit up to PC gamers, dog. No, it's, it's here <laughs> now. Like, that's just like it's here on P- it's on console, but like not as much. No, it's that's like, true. I, 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 I once again leave it up to the PC players. Y'all do you? You know those systems take a lot to put together, and you know these games are fun, but my nigga, I don't get it. Mm. Um, I like Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> so like a little nervous f- fourth grader. I like I, I like, like, like I don't like hurting people that much. Nerd, stop! I like hurting. Nerd, fancy you animals. don't like shooting, you nerd. No, I do. I oh, do. Oh god, guys, let's get out of here. This guy play no come play back. This Final Fantasy. No, I, I played PUBG. That's what you call it. <laughs> ha, 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 we need to play that like ten years ago. What? Where were you, what? loser? It only came out of March, right? What? I've been playing it for ten years. I don't know what you're talking about. I th- okay, okay, uh, 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 okay, okay. I'm playing. I'm playing uh, Arma. I'm playing Arma. Oh, oh, Arma's my shit. Okay, okay. Uh, what about the- Psych? <laughs> I mean, I shit on Arma. Oh, <laughs> right, what, what about the calling? What about the calling? I'm playing the calling. Oh, oh, uh, uh, more, li- more like the, the coming because I'm going to be coming on your f- mom. Okay, I'm playing Fortnite now. <laughs> I'm playing Fortnite. Why, why am I not accepted for the battle royale? Oh, I'm playing. Stupid. We're playing Radical Heights again. <laughs> Eloy, why am I not accepted for the game I like for the opinion PUBG? that's mine? It's kind of true. Because. You don't get an opinion because you're wrong. Yeah, and scene. That was a bad inputs playwright. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight. It's great. I'm sorry. We had so many people on our, our bill this time. Jerry, mm-hmm. uh, Luis, thank you. Without your support, we wouldn't have been able to get this far. Every time, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Barry, don't think I forgot you. You let us rent this out, this place out for half the price. Oh, oh, oh you know. <laughs> So we're watching Radical Heights right now, and it's nice a combination. It looks like a combination of Fortnite and PUBG. Yeah, pretty much. With vehicles, and it looks prettier than PUBG. And <laughs> it's, there's definitely more colors. That map was ugly as sin, though. Yeah, I was about to say. Also, look at that. Oh, dude, look at their fucking their 8-bit-ass font mm-hmm. for the time. You see that? 
That's some. Oh, look! That's how you know oh. you're a gamer. You're playing a video game, guys. I do like the money flying out. Oh, it's all eight bit. The, the so yeah, it's eighties. It's like a game show. This is like Saints Row, the battle royale game. That's, what it that's like. exactly what it is. <laughs> it's in the style of a game show where people are dropping in and battling out for money, tuck and roll oh, onto the ground. I kind of like that. Radical oh, fitness. Who is this guy supposed to be? Doctor like, Disrespect. Is that his name? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's a, one of those streamers. That I are did jacked. not know he was fucking ripped. Yep. He's what four, the fuck? Three or four inches taller than me and ripped. So uh, terrifying human I being. I would never fuck with that man. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, I just saw him. Fl- so he just flexed on the fucking camera. That dude's got arms like bigger than fucking like animals. Yeah. Like full grown animals. Like a, like a German Shepherd isn't as big as his arms. If he walked around, I wouldn't mistake him for an MLB player. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, and I wish he walked around like that, because then he would just be a crazy-looking redneck. Gillette, the taste a man can get. <laughs> I can't Gillette. believe he did that song. Gillette. Oh, that's a serenade Eloy with it, Colin. Gillette, Gillette. Ooh. the best a man can get. Oh, really? Ooh. Gillette. Gillette. Oh. <laughs> the best a man can get. Gillette. 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 The best a man can get. <laughs> the best a man can get. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll, I'll put the I'll, I'll put the song in the fucking at least for a little bit. Uh, what other fucking things are coming? Well, so I guess at the end we'll do our predictions. Jesus Christ, you have the remote. I think you muted it. Yeah, he really did a song with Gillette. Oh, Gillette. All right, here I'm gonna pause the podcast so you can hear this song. I'll play it for you guys. (laughs) We're back. It's a real thing. (laughs) Okay. The best. The man. So well, I want to. I almost want to know. The, I'm guessing Gillette just saw him on Twitch and was like, "Hey, you should do this thing." Unless he sang it before and then they made it into a song. I, I don't know. Yeah. Or or it's just not sponsored by Gillette at all, and they have no idea that Doctor Disrespect is making a ton of money off their name. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much punani he gets. Uh well, that's interesting. He was married from G- and then he cheated on his wife. Oh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not so funny anymore. <laughs> that's what you gave me. That's that's like, I wonder how much poo daddy gets. <laughs> that's a, mm. Yeah, that's what like, I froze when he said it. I was like, oh, you have no idea. More than you probably need. I wonder why you gave me that yeah. look. I was like, what? <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's probably one of like, the top five most popular Twitch streamers right now. So he's Is he still, tr- is he still streaming? Mm-hmm. So he took about a month break. To apparently work on his marriage. I don't know if they divorced. I haven't heard anything since then. But yeah, um, uh, but yeah, he was like very apologetic and cried. And then he came back a month later. People were mad at him. Like he's like, how long do you want the guy to take? Like what is what is the proper amount of break <laughs> for a guy to make up cheating in your yeah. mind? Like what is that? For like, something yeah. that he didn't even have to tell you people. Yeah, he, he really did it. Yeah. That's completely his business. Yeah. Like I, I, I mean, I'm sure he did it because he was like. I have to because I need to leave streaming for a little bit and yeah. it's like you know I, I don't know um what else we got fucking for games well so God of War fucking came out yes oh my god that game's fucking great my question is is the report of the week a man or a woman this is a channel that's a man oh he's no I feel bad for this guy it's a woman right he's like look, no it's a man I thought it was a girl I want to say it's a dude he has no makeup on okay so God of War <laughs> I feel bad for that. He got demonetized. And oh. he, yeah, and he's he got the adpocalypse thing, and he never curses, and all he does is report things and do like wholesome videos, and he got demonetized. Why? I have no idea. Because that was when I knew it was getting fucking funky. I was like, all right, man, like, what are you supposed to do now? Yep. Um, that's fucked up. Oh God! So God of War, yes, God of War. Gillette. <laughs> as Kratos needs it. Um, the game is. I, okay, I, I'm not. I'm not going to say a perfect game, but it is so far. There's nothing. There's like no wrong. Nothing. Mm. It's all good. It's not Damn. glitchy. The story's good. The combat's smooth. 
The puzzles are good. You don't, it doesn't make you feel like an idiot. It's There's a bunch of shit to find. The upgrade system's ridiculous. So what's the last action RPG you played before this one? The last action RPG? Uh-huh. I would, wouldn't Dark Souls count? Kind of, but it's so slow and stuff. I guess Bloodborne, Dark Souls ish, but it's, it's not. It's of. not. It's not as close to like that feeling, or the kind of game our God of War is. I guess. Yeah. Um, well, close to. I would say Bayonetta. Bayonetta is close. Bayonetta is really that good. kind of platinum. You can roam stuff. around like that in Bayonetta. Yeah, you run around, punch shit, fast. and you upgrade. Mm-hmm. You, oh. up, you get like new moves. Oh, Bayonetta is a real smexy game, ba- dude. Yeah. You'll like mm-hmm. Bayonetta is really fun. I I can recommend that game enough. Oh shit! You, you want to get a Wii U? I know a place where you can get no. one. No, you can get it on the Switch. Now. The screen might be a little broken, but I know a place you can get one. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would say probably I haven't played a ton of action RPGs, but just from a like video game standpoint it's just like the like i was telling you in the car the feedback loop's great like you're you're always doing something that keeps you engaged Mm -hmm. there's never a slog the combat's great and it's it differs there's a bunch of different types of enemies so far the story's intriguing and it's never too slow they sort of they really get to the point which is kind of nice to have somebody like kratos yeah because they didn't make some character who gets all preachy or does has to say too much he's very much just kind of like i say what i need to say and i move on yeah and that's enough and it's kind of, it's kind of nice, and like the boy adds. Oh, here I'll have a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, the boy adds a good dynamic of like being emotional and like like he's basically on a, a trip where he's never. That's perfect. Um, he's on a trip where he's basically never dealt with the hardships ahead. He's got to like travel through a mountain, even though he's lived at home his whole life. Yeah. Um, and like there's a, there's a scene where he kills a guy because the guy's about to kill him, and he's just like. <sighs> And he's fucking terrified and it's like I don't know there's more of a humanistic yeah. kind of sort of thing he's like it. I liked it but it's true because that's oh, what was it. missing from God of War yeah because all you saw when you start like one of, one of the games in the trilogy you find out that blah 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 he killed his kids ashes of his loved ones that's what he's covered with that's why he's gray with the black dude's voice that's why he's like that but you never yeah. got to see that human side of him hmm. unless it's through flashbacks but then snap he's fucking four girls at the same time yeah so it like, was really inconsistent mm, you <laughs> <laughs> His face. Mm. Sidebar: We told Eli what a donkey punch was for the first time. Oh, I that love, was a long time ago. Yeah, we've. I think we've told this story on this channel probably like fifteen times. Yeah. But it's still, f- just too hilarious. What? What? Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was so yeah. much like, like concern. <laughs> Why? You're like, ooh, someone's getting punched for that. What? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Knocked out. Oh. Um, what made God of War also really good was because it was around that era where it's just like fast cars, mm-hmm. rims, tits, sex, violence. Yeah, very, 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 sorry, sorry. Very sorry. Thing, man. <laughs> that was the Attitude Era, if you put it that way. I that was guess like the broy, yeah. like Mountain Dew, four twenty, mm-hmm. blaze it, fucking like all those memes kind of came from like the, the early two thousand yeah. gaming era. The PS two network adapter was. Marketed solely for SOCOM Navy SEALs to play with your boys. Yeah, exactly. That's just it's it was that era, so I'm I'm glad it's sort of adjusted. Yeah. The thing about it too is is though the combat is a little different. Once you combo somebody correctly, it feels kind of like God of War. Yeah. Like it's mm-hmm. which is great because it's I love that it mixed a bunch of different battle systems, but it never like the soul of it was still there. And I feel like that's sort of hard to do if you're especially rebooting a game the way they did. Like they they could have completely changed the combat, but and they did to some degree. But like when you're getting hits on people, it still feels very fluid and like mm-hmm. you can keep hitting a button over and over, and it's still you get a crazy combo. But beforehand, you had to make sure you had to get the right hit, you got the right timing, you got a right parry, and then you get rewarded for it as opposed to just mashing the button over and over. Yeah, oh, I see. Which is nice. It's yeah. it's a it's a good it's a good. These games are great change of pace mm-hmm. and it's needed and there's always a bunch of stuff to do and there, there's always little nooks and crannies to find like it's I, I like i said there's all the things that you would want in a great game it's got it so far and and, and i i really think this is probably gonna win game of the year already so how many I, I think it's hard to top it yeah how many chains of olympus do you give it out of five a chains of olympus oh yeah. oh i would oh, I'd, give, oh, I'd, give it, I'd give it i'd give it five it's called i would be one of those guys at this point to give it a 10 like i would give that shit a 10 out of 10 like i'm not even it's just, it doesn't 
I so, want to keep playing it, and it's n- there's no I have no problem. There's even problems like I have with Dark Souls. Uh-huh. This game doesn't even have like it's just it's just pacing mm-hmm. everything. It's all good. All right, it's all good. Oh, I really want to play it now. It's, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be fun to play. It is. It's it's satisfying. I, I I really there's not really much more I can talk about it because I have I have barely even scratched the surface. But yeah, there's combos you can unlock. The armor uh, affects your skills. Like how well you like at like how strong you get, you actually have a legitimate like RPG stat system, which is it's also a very dumbed down version kind of of Dark Souls. Like there's strength, there's defense, there's mm. uh, evasiveness, there's luck. Mm. Like mm. yeah, it's 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 a bunch of weird shit, and mm. none of the enemies feel the same so far. I, I like and because of the way it's like in that kind of perspective of of Dead Space, yeah. it makes combat very interesting where it doesn't have to zoom out or anything like that like it, it the the indicators when something's behind you is is in your face enough where you can dodge something right behind you even if you don't see it like it's just like they just covered all even the parts where it could be bad they covered all the bases it's just i don't like like, like something where you would make an easy mistake like that where it's like in that close in that close third person combat maybe you don't have an indicator that's big enough so you can see something behind you. Mm-hmm. You know, like, it could be something like that where it's like, oh, man, now I have to constantly have something in front of me. Like, uh-huh. they didn't just, it was just always just, it's just good. It's just good. Yeah, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we're going to come back to you in a month. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, also, that's kind of hard to do because you're going to be playing something out. No, that's perfect. No, I'm going to be playing this no, game so a lot. Because I think it's appropriate because that's how, that's how I feel you get, like, people's honest opinion after playing something else. And seeing how it sticks with you after. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of like I felt with Persona 5. Mm -hmm. It was like, I loved it. I gushed about it. Yeah. But then I wouldn't put it in my top 10. No. I wouldn't wouldn't give it a 5. I don't think I would give it a perfect score either. All right. Well, so what what parts, like, kept it from being that? Was it like the story was a little too predictable, stuff like that? the same fucking game as 4. Oh, okay. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. That was like the little three second bit of energy, uh, anger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, and that's, and that's, like, 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 uh, that's good and bad. No, that's I mean? bad. Really? Yeah. Because, like, well, four is a good game, though. If I can just put it out rawly without trying to be like professional editor bullshit, like, I kind of wish like it wasn't the same character archetypes that it was in four. Because three and four was a real transition. Transition. Even like musically, aesthetically wise, it was something different. Mm-hmm. Five was something different, but at the end of the day, it was the same game. Mm-hmm. And I realized that I was under leveled because I was just trying to beat the fucking game. That's true. After I realized, I was like, I'll just go for true ending because I don't want to play it again. So I'll just go for it. Yeah. So it was still fun, but I definitely not, not, not what I said it was in the first week. Yeah. So I was like, huh, I didn't think it would hit me like that hey, after hey, yeah. the aftertaste, I guess. Yeah, I've only I've only played about three hours of this game thus far. Mm. I really have I've barely even touched this game for truly, so probably yeah, in about a month my opinion might change. Mm. Just right now, and it might get more repetitive. I might start seeing the same enemies, which I really hope I don't, or if yeah. they are like they are stronger, they have sort of like a skill bar thing where it's like, hey, if you're there they might be a higher level than you, so they're gonna be stronger, so be careful. Mm. So But that, it looks like this is more about the story than the combat it's equal yeah because the combat's gonna be i think people expect it to because it fucking better be like with the god of war yeah it's gotta it's gotta live up to its legacy mm-hmm. its legacy i'm just surprised it's not as, as streamlined <laughs> um i'm just surprised it's not streamlined like because i like i think a good game to compare it to is like batman like we were talking like before yeah, yeah. Little, i never played i never played any you never played any of the batman no, i didn't really there, want you, to. you should play i would say arkham asylum is good i've heard some people are on and off about arkham i love arkham city mm-hmm. but it's very big and so it can get sort of annoying to fly from place to place because mm-hmm. arkham asylum is sort of in this small area it gets it's very quick to go from pa- like place to place and the pacing's nice mm-hmm. um but uh, it's it's like that in the sense of like it's the third person way and like the combat's really fluid. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with Batman, like we were saying earlier, is like it's super. I can get very autopiloty. Mm-hmm. You you can kind of hit the same buttons over and over again, and you'll probably win the fight. God of War isn't that. It's mm-hmm. it's very like it's fluid, but it's fluid in the way that like super hot is fluid. Yeah, in where it's like boom, boom. Okay, the the gun came to me. I catch the gun. I, I shoot the gun. Okay, now I throw that gun yeah. because I threw the gun at the guy and he dropped his gun. Now I grab that. Mm. Like it's just Whoa. things happen all sort of 
as you go, if you're uh-huh. pressing the right buttons, and and that makes it great. Is like so basically when you you can throw your axe and then you can call it back whenever you want. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't oh, automatically shit. come back to you. So I love that because because uh-huh. you can set the axe up to come back the other way. Or what you can do is if somebody's flying in the air, like in mid combo, you can just use your axe and then just chuck it at them and get some extra damage. Or like you have uh, a move where you like hit that, like you you uh, hold down a button. And if they're coming at you, you can charge it ahead of time and they just fucking do crazy damage. Like it's, it that's all cool. flows into each other if you if you understand it right. Like mm-hmm. it's that's why it's it's so like a bunch of different games in one with the combat. It's so is great. there anything that's bad cool. about the game? So I, I, what I'm saying is I don't. There's nothing. There's nothing so far that is the only. If I was gonna make any complaint, if any, mm-hmm. is just. And again, I think it's because I'm early game. The environments are, are pretty similar so far, but I've played three hours, so I'm at the fucking first part of the game, so of course it's going to be the same right now. Like, I am... The one thing I would expect is if it... I want it to get a little darker. Like, I want them to go to, obviously, some place, like, of the gods, like, either above or below or both, or some sort of different terrain. Like, that's one of the things I love about fucking Dark Souls is that every area is so different yet it all feels like, like it connects. Uh-huh. So if they do that, then I think this game is great. But I, right, that's the only thing. But again, mm-hmm. I don't even played enough to even say that that's a real complaint. You know? oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm done talking about Dark Souls now. Damn. Or Dark Souls, whatever. Call of Duty. I really want to play that. I want to play <laughs> the Call first one. Yes, Call of Duty. You try playing the first one. I know, just but play I... This, just play the second that, and third one. But like, I've, right, I've always third. wanted to play that just game. play two and three, you'll yeah, be fine. Yeah, I only played three. It's fine. You'll get it's basically the same, okay. except one's not as good. Yeah, that stupid box thing. I don't know what that shit was. That yeah. was one of the dumbest things I've ever yeah. seen in the game. That's gonna be a transition for me because I liked God of War just to hit shit. Me too. And I think that's why I'm still not really playing Last of Us because mm-hmm. I don't want to be there right now mentally. Oh, mm-hmm. that shit is sad. And like, I want to play that again. Oh yeah, you. Well, I it. beat it. Yeah, I beat, beat it. it. Yeah, yeah, you beat it. I'm so like, I put it in like it feels like. You get out of it, and then you have to do combat. It's yeah. Like, I kind of don't feel like it. I don't know. I really... I don't feel like... I don't feel like doing the stuff to get to the cutscenes in The Last of Us. I see what you're saying. It's mm-hmm. really weird. And it feels like... It's like I already know... Like, like the combat's not inter- interesting enough for me to want to go through it to kind, get to the more interesting cutscenes. Kind of. Not... I don't know. I just feel slow. Mm-hmm. For like, I, I don't know. I pop it in, and I don't know why I even stopped playing it. I don't know. It just didn't really grab me. I don't. No, oh, that's fine. Uh, that's it's weird. Well, game. That's. I feel like that's a sign of like you could like a game, but you don't love it. You know what I mean? Like, I think a game. If a game grabs you, it's one of those games that you're like, I fucking. Oh my god. I love yeah. This game. Like God like, of War's done that to me. Persona did that to me too. Persona mm, Five. Like it yeah. just fucking is like you're playing this, and I was like, mm. yes, I want to. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Persona Five. Holy. Fuck, I have I to agree. To that like even with me with The Witcher, like I didn't want to like it. Like mm. I just didn't like it at the beginning, and then something happened, and I'm just like, click. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. What is this place? Yeah, exactly. Mm. And you want to know more, and you don't want to stop. And you. Yeah. That's why you play. You said you played for six hours last night. Yeah. Jesus oh. Christ! Yeah. Without resting. Once again, I do not do. Please get up and rest. <laughs> Walk around. I used to do that back in the day. There's something about yeah. Something about The Last of Us just did not. I don't want to say not stick because I watched it. It seems fun, but for some reason I was stinking around. I was like, "This is not the stealth I want." <laughs> hmm. This is I not maybe. the stealthiness I want. The stealth is is, is not bad though. Yeah, like it's, the it's actual fine. Like, the gameplay of the stealth. Yeah, the game is like, okay, fine. Okay. But I was like, no. This fucking motherfucker keeps seeing me somehow. It's dumb friends. Oh, that shit. Yeah. And then I was like, I don't. I want to play it this way, as I should, but it's not working out. Yeah. So. I'll just do it this way. I have to wait a lot. Oh, there's a lot of waiting in there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think that's there's it. A lot I don't want to wait, and then something happens, and then uh, maybe I'll be right about what happens. I don't want to be right about what happens. <laughs> what, like as far as cutscenes go? Or? Yeah, but like just the, the detention and shit like that, the rising story and all that bullshit. Maybe because I watched it also, maybe because we ruined it. I thought that would be one of the games where, like, yeah. knowing some of the story would have ruined it, but... I think it does. Once again, that was, like, five years ago. Yeah. So that... A lot of things have happened with how those type of games are playing and drawn out now. Yeah. But... And it will never change for Metal Gear for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I think the story is big about it because it, I think it adds more tension to the gameplay because... That's why I'm shy you, about God of War. Well, oh, really? Oh, I, I, I'm very shy about it because I was like, oh, 
We're going father son around, huh? Yeah. All right. Okay. It's good, man. Well, it's good because, like, I feel like I feel like it's like one of those games. Like, it hits like a tenor spot. Like, you have to pay attention. You have. Yeah, to, but I'm like, fucked up, dude. And then you like do that. <laughs> Wait, what is that? And I'm that's what. That. And that's what. And that's what makes the game so awesome. Is that mm-hmm. like a lot of people share the same views? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It just like connects you. Or to had the something game so that's much. similar that's happened to you. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like, and that's why I love. You know, that's why I love art. But that's a whole other discussion. No, that's what I was saying. Like, I'm not same thing with J Cole's album. I was like, I don't think I'm there mentally right now. I don't think I could put myself there. Like, even like listening to it, I can it's somber. like I can bob my head, but like my body's like it's not uh, calming down. Yeah, right yeah. Now. Once again, it's more of a personal thing. We'll talk about it later. But yeah. like, I'm in like a weird, rapid moving type place I, in my life right now. I, I think the story is definitely something that they wanted to get better at doing. And, I, and like mm-hmm. I said before, the intrigue of the story is great. They're not doing anything where it's like, hey, here, you stupid idiot. Here's here's like a bunch of plot just thrown up on you. Like, mm-hmm. it just sort of starts. You kind of make your own assumptions as, as it goes on. And if you're right, you're right. And if you're wrong, whatever. It, like, it's not something where they're like, oh, okay, and then my past was this. And my, like... There's a lot of, like, what's partly me, like, helping me go ahead in the game is, like, I want to know what's exactly happening. And, and I and I can't, that's pretty much the only way I could say that without having a spoiler, basically, is just, like, something happened and I don't understand why it's occurring. And I would like to figure out why it is that that has occurred. And even just, even if the story is not something that's, like, all right, I'm not really sure and you just want to hit things uh-huh. like, as I said before the combat is satisfying enough for me in that game like I can't fucking wait to fight something when I'm playing that game okay. like, it's so much it's so good oh, man. it's so fluid like just I think that's the thing I love the most it's like it's not only it's, well it's yeah it's just fluid it's just mm. oh none of it ever pauses you never feel like you're waiting for anything or you mm. have to wait or, or the mechanics are weird like it all works the way you want it to work I'm sorry I just love the witcher like everything you're saying right now, it just like reminds me of it. It might, be. and that's why. I that's why like, I can't. I can't wait yeah. to play God of War. Like just to compare, have something to compare. Because like I'm thinking about the only thing I can compare The Witcher to is Skyrim. You need, you need to play Double Maze Cry. Also. And like that's yeah. like I know that's like nothing like it, but mm. yeah. Well, as far funny. as like medieval goes and all that, yeah. Yeah, I mean medieval's medieval. Like well, you, can, then, you can only go so far with it. Like there's elves true. and shit, you know. Elves and like shit. you know dwarves and like you know swords and like mm-hmm. you know what I mean but like it's just the gameplay it's the way they present the characters it's mm-hmm. the story behind it it's also it's also the 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 subtext you know that they that they cover you know in terms of like humanity love and all that stuff. yeah about many many different subjects and I, I really find girl. love that and I look forward to games that present that to me I think I think then you would like you'll like God of War. I I, I think you will. Mm-hmm. It's it's really good. I would well, say yeah. I said, like I always want to play. Give it give it. A, well, so why not? I was selling Toby too. When I'm when I'm done, stop it. I will let you borrow. There's too it. many games. I'll let you stop borrow it. it. I won't even. You don't no. have to pay sixty dollars. Wait. All right. You will wait. Well, it's gonna wait, be so. a while. It's probably yeah, gonna be like I know. Six months. Yeah. Same. So, it, like, <laughs> what is even? There's like a four conversations between two people. <laughs> I have to wait. I have to wait for because I have so many you games play to the play. Witcher. I, I get it. I have so many games. No, it's not just The Witcher. It's other games that I want to play too. Like, I, Ratchet, feel, I, I still feel have like, to play Ratchet and Clank. That game's great. Uh, that's number two. I got that too. I've always wanted to play that as a kid. It's fun. It's fun, man. That, that's another game where it's just like consistently just shit always happens that's good and it just never really stops. Did you beat it? No, I played about. Damn it, Colin. I played about two to three hours of that as well. <laughs> I didn't play. I didn't play enough of that game. I'm not gonna lie. One of the reasons that I didn't finish that game is I've I've played a lot of platformers. Man, that is probably the game I've played the most of. And I played that, and it just I was like, "Yep, I'm doing platformer things," mm-hmm. and it nothing really like stuck out of me. It's good, yeah. but it's it's kind of how you're feeling with like The Last of Us. You're like, "This is a good game." Yeah, but yeah, like, I'm, I'm a heartless bastard right now. I don't want to feel. <laughs> I don't. Like, I don't. As good as it may be, everything else, don't give me that shit right yeah. now, please. <laughs> I don't know what I had played. I don't know what I had played prior to that, but it really was just like maybe I want to say it was it was Persona. So I think I was in such like a RPG mindset that I played Ratchet and Clank, and I was like, oh, this isn't that. I'm okay. Mm-hmm. I don't want to just randomly shoot things. I want, yeah. I want to think about my actions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, like really, yeah. it's it was it's very strange. So, but now I'm I'm 
I'm super excited that God of War is where it's at. I'm happy for the guys, as like most of all, is like how they made such a crazy transformation. Now they went from what God of War was to what it is. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty ballsy, truly. I feel like it was. You feel like it was difficult at first. And then as things started to change over time, they're like, "Oh, wait a minute, we can get away with this." It's much like it's not like so much. I guess the combat, but like the look mm-hmm. and like the tone of it. They're like, "Oh, well, people like." Life is strange and stuff like that, and like that's starting to become the norm and all the stuff that's that true. The Walking Dead is doing. We can we can squeeze this in real easy. But mm-hmm. it's it's easy to to make a game like that, but then like lose the identity of what your game used to be. That's mm-hmm. what I was saying. I think that's what impresses me honestly the most out of this game is that two words. What Crash Bandicoot? What the remaster? Oh, oh, well, that game sucks. <laughs> What? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. That game sucks dick. It does. We, we, we rushed it. That's the only reason no, it sucks. No, we didn't. We yeah, played. we did. We did not rush <laughs> we it. We rushed it. That game it sucks. Man. The game was difficult. The game is fucking hard and in not a fun way. <laughs> the game sucks. All right, anyway. Uh, God of War. It's so funny, Mark. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, 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 I'm glad God of War sells a soul. It doesn't, it doesn't, it didn't change from that. Like, mm-hmm. and I think that's the hardest part to do is to like change what your game is entirely oh sure um I was part of the rest of the um Infamous tried to do the same thing and it well did okay at first yeah it wasn't and then it just died down like it, it like Infamous should have kept being dark and then it went too campy it was that, was that was campy for the third one that bullshit remaster, whatever remake reboot of Infamous, With the fucking uh, Second Son. Yeah, that shit was campy as hell. Oh, okay, I felt like about... a superhero game. I was like, oh god, yeah. it, it looked dark. It looked dark on the outside. Oh like, hell geez, no, that, that game was campy. I thought that as game shit. was gonna be awesome. Me like, too. Oh man, that was like one yeah, of the first like, PS4 games. Oh, Troy like, Baker was just quipping the whole game. I was pimping that game like a, a pimp named Slickback. <laughs> like, nope, a pimp named Slickback. The game, game's fun as hell. The gameplay's great. Yeah. The story, I was bored to tears. Yeah, that's, mm. I, I, I think I'm, I don't know what I want for a story right now. I guess Nier is fine with it, but that's not the story. It's just like hitting on some points that are like current for me right now, but I don't know. I don't think I, I know what I want to play. God damn it. I'm, I'm not, back there. I'm back in that void. Oh, this sucks. Not knowing what you want to play. Yeah. This so, is. Well, is that the options or is it just where your mindset is? My mindset. Oh, okay. This is like 2000, 2011 to 2012. Uh huh. This is a year of like. I'm playing this, but I don't feel anything. It's like being in a relationship, but like oh, nothing's happening. I've played games like that. Yeah, I'm just yeah, playing I've... it just to play it. That was kind of oh, like. Bio- yeah. That was Bioshock Infinite, not going to lie. Oh, okay. I just like played it. Just to talk about it, uh-huh. like it's nothing. That's like, like why are you playing it? Exactly. That's why I got to Persona Three. Luckily, that's why I got to Persona series. Now it's time to find that next thing. Well, so do you think? Do you think a certain game can change your outlook on sort of what games you want to play from then on? Even games, something like because oh, yeah. yeah. like for instance, uh, and this is not in any way like why don't you play? It? But like you haven't been like too ex- you you're like we we stopped playing Breath of the Wild because you're like eh. like a it would be a long time and you're not even I would from what I've seen you're yeah. not like oh, yeah. totally into not that even, game yeah. and, and in Mario Odyssey the same thing you're just mm-hmm. like eh. yeah like whatever and it's it's pretty interesting how a game maybe a certain couple of games or mm-hmm. wherever your mindset is can like even somebody can go fucking ten out of ten and you're like and yeah do you feel like do you feel like because of the hype as well. No, nah, I that think those it's, two, like, just I'm just thinking about Zelda and Odyssey. Like, just because there's so much hype over uh, that game, that kind of like, was a deterrent. Probably well. a little bit. I wouldn't say I'm surprised, but I think whatever comes at me, like, musically and emotionally, mm-hmm. is probably what hits me at that time for what I can, like, really grade it for. Yeah. Like, talk to Colin about this and near, pretty much, like, it touched upon the concept, like, suicide hard. Uh-huh. Like, but luckily they use robots, so it's not as graphic. But it mm-hmm. touches upon stuff like that a lot. I'm like, okay, I kind of need that. Even though I'm playing video games, which people use as escape, I want to be brought back down to earth because I got shit yeah. to focus on. I got, yeah. I got shit I need to do. Yeah. So like, this is keeping me perpetuating. I want, I want this something type of to game. kind of confront the shit I need to deal yeah. with in life, kind yeah. of thing. 
Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what, dude, that's what Persona 5 was for me. Mm -hmm. that, that game was just like, holy shit. Like, yeah. I need to get my, my fucking act together. <laughs> that's why, like, I love 4, because 5 touched upon it, but then it turned into, like, a weird version of Kids Next Door. That's true. And then 4 was more so, like, hey, we'll talk about what it means to be a person, but, like, this is, like, the dopest murder mystery ever. Mm. Oh, that's, that was a murder mystery. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely. It is very much kittens next door for five. Cause it's yeah. like, ah, take down the bad old adults. Yeah. And, and, it's and like, that's fine. And unfortunately, it went the path of the bad guy being the penultimate bad guy, kind of, in a way. Yeah. If, that, if we're not talking like true ending. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because jet yeah, anime is, we're going to do this. You can shoot him in the Nemina as a real boss. Oh God. <laughs> when, I, when, I fucking, when I beat Cheeto, I was like, yes. <laughs> We're done here. No. No, that, that's the same reasons why I never beat Onimisha 3. Because that after boss, I just turned, I put that fucking CD back in the game sleeve, put it back in the mailbox, I turned it back to Gamefly, I said, fuck you, take it back. <laughs> I was like, eat shit. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I have biology, and I can't beat this shitty I, boss. Dude, that, only, that has only happened to me in Japanese-based games. Like, Bayonetta does that, too. Bayonetta's like, you beat the last boss, psych, here's another boss, psych, again. That's, keep asking my phone, that's a yeah. wrong boss. It's, it's so weird, because I, it, yeah, I didn't expect that at all. I was like, you oh, motherfuckers. Yes. All right, so before, we got, we got like five minutes, basically. Anybody got some, uh, some E3 predictions that they want to, want to chuck out? Legal ones? Well, what would be illegal? I got. We don't know shit. I know shit. No, do you? Yes, I do. Does your uncle work at the at E three? Not my uncle, but a former classmate. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I know shit. Oh, what? I know shit that we gotta make a video for. What? After possibly. Wait. Uh -huh. I got. So I just got some shit. If you can't tell, wait. If you I'll can't, say it. Well, yeah. If you can't say it on air, you should tell us anyway. I can say it on air. Okay. I can say that we will see. <laughs> Andrew, Ricky, I am so sorry. <laughs> yes. Let's just say a certain studio that teased something about a certain franchise that we like. Uh-huh. That we saw at a certain video game awards. Yes. Will be at E3. No what? fucking way. I'm bullshitting you. Oh, you <laughs> oh my God. You killed all my happiness in life. Oh, gotcha. my God. The IGN. Oh. I know the build up oh. to bullshit. Oh, my God. Balls now, I dude. I should have kept going. Oh, my God. Gotcha. See, that's how you, that's how, that's teasing 101. Bloodborne 2, put it in my face. Don't do Bloodborne put 2. Put Bloodborne 2 in my face. I will, I will fucking fight someone in the street if you make Bloodborne 2 and film I it with a go. Pro. Well, I, that'd be so funny. I'm calling. I'm, I'm calling no. myself for the fourth year in a row. Don't need it. <laughs> okay, fine. Eloy or, or third Eloy's year. Eloy's gonna row. be the monitor, moderator. Pull up Audacity timer. We have one minute each. Fifty. To, okay, we're at fifty-two. Okay, we have one minute fifty-two twenty. One minute each to convince Eloy why or why not there has right. to be a Bloodborne two. Okay, fifty-two thirty. Okay, one. All right, so we got five seconds. Mm. Wait, how much? Wait, a minute each. Yeah. Okay. And you're going first. Go. You're going first. Okay, there should be a Bloodborne too because Bloodborne has literally never there has never been a game ever like that. It's literally Dark Souls, but the mechanics are far better. And the gothic scenario with fucking Cthulhu everywhere. It was some of the best shit I've ever seen. They would make more trick weapons. The bosses would be fucking insane to look at. And because it's like a nightmare escape, you can literally put whatever the fuck you want in there. And it'll never get stale. Be creepy ass bugs. They'll probably do more chalice dungeon dungeons. Oh my god. God, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know where the plot would go. It doesn't even make sense. I don't give a shit. I want it in my face. I, I do. I still have thirty seconds. But, Jesus. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, I don't even like. What else do I fucking say? Like that. I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna step in. There. I I have uh, that game is my goddamn heroin. <laughs> I can play that game over and over again, and I will have the same fucking feeling. And be like, oh my god, it hurts so good all the time. All right, your turn. Everything you said is true, but. <laughs> <laughs> What if I told you that the same thing was said about Dark Souls 1, the game that you're liking, not liking now, but the same thing chance over to Dark Souls 2, but poorly? What if the same thing happens to Bloodborne? Ooh. What if they try to insert the same weapons and make it different, but they don't make it different enough? What if it's not different enough? What if there's not enough change in what they do? What if it's not enough? You hear that word? Enough. enough. 
Well, if it's not enough for the people it's that want the fan enough. bucks, the fan base in there that think it's possible to make a Dark Souls game worthy of being successor. Well, that's true. Is it enough? Is it worthy? Two words. Can it fulfill that? That's all I got to say. Yeah. It's like, it's like the Half-Life 3 syndrome sort of thing. Yeah. Where it's like, will the hype ever beat the actual... Will it actually it match sit. up to the game? Yeah. Let us sit where it is. Yeah. Where yeah. it's at a good price. People can buy it affordably. Get a PS4 or PS4 Pro if they want and be able to play it. Like I did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I when we've talked about it. I would love a Bloodborne too, but if that game ended up just being standalone Bloodborne, I wouldn't hate that either. I, that game... If that game just remained the way it was... I think as time goes on, it'll always be known as one of the best PlayStation games made. Like it just is. It's just so well fucking made. It sounds like it sounds like you call and we want another one for just to see where it it can go. Yeah. And Toki's like just to stop it now because yeah. it's be already careful what you it's already it's already immortal. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, that's we've yeah. talked about this. Mm, and yeah. like he's right. I, and I think. I think both arguments have merit. I mm-hmm. think I think yeah. I think they could if they did it right, you could actually see it being like one of the best games around, but at the same time, if you let it sort of breathe in its own sphere, yeah. then uh-huh. that game will always it, it will never lose its luster cuz something mm-hmm. like even even though Dark Souls is held in high regard, Dark Souls I think will always have a bit of an asterisk on it because Dark Souls 2 exists. It's a weird because it's like it's, it's hard to not talk about. Be like Dark Souls, but Dark Souls 2. Like it just it, that <sighs> that conversation happens all. You know that yeah, the conversation since, happens all the time. Twenty third, I don't since forever. Yeah, it, that's why I don't. That's one of the yeah, reasons I don't me, want to see it. For Ghostbusters me, I, 2. That's all I got to say. Also, yeah, exactly. for me, I would just leave where it is. But then it, it's it. You know, it's not up to me. It's up to I think it's up to the. People, it's up to someone. I yeah. think I think it's up to the people to decide whether they want another one or not. Because like I can same thing say the same things for movies at least as well. No, oh. like I don't want so I a second perfect. one or Eight. like a different one of the same thing. You know, like <laughs> um, but fuck. I don't. I think part of the reason I want to play it so badly is that that was it, it, like if you were going to ask me the question. What game do you wish you could you could play for the first time over again? Mm. That one, ten times out of ten. Yeah, like okay. like that. Just oh my, that game. I've said this before on here. That game has changed my outlook and changed the way that I view video games. It yeah. just does. Like it just had a, such a different impact on all the different games. Because of all the games I played, like that was absolutely the hardest and it had such a different tone to most of the shit that I usually play. Yeah. That it like it exp- it, it kind of made me go, holy shit, games can be so much yeah. kind of feeling and it's, and that and that was aha was great. moment and yeah exactly and so that's why i kind of it's almost like i'm re-wishing for that same moment i feel like and that's where it. it comes from so the eloy got in metal gear solid when he started fighting revolver ocelot and moved on beyond there and like vulcan raven yeah it's like okay this yeah, like, is like some. This is some weird shit yeah this is some shit yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of shit that happening game here. is awesome got that psycho mantis fight that was hilarious. <laughs> I wish I saw you, that. Like looking back, besides the Metal Gear Rex fight, you beat that pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, considerably. Yeah. Well, comparing it to fucking Dark Souls, <laughs> Dark, Dark Souls is a whole other type of hard. Yeah, yeah. Dark, Dark Souls well, that's definitely. The only thing I have to compare it to. Well, yeah. Metal Gear is like I think Metal Gear is more like balanced hard. Dark Souls definitely, as much as people are like, and it's true, like, oh, there's a good story in the environments. They totally did make that game to be hard. And mm-hmm. Like, if don't let those, if those guys are like, oh, that was never our intention. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> You're wrong. You know you made it hard. You know you did. Like, come on. But oh. but it's not a, there's no problem with that, by the way. Colin, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash the Ferg, or stream Every day, except well, weekends not all the time, but mostly five days a week. And then on Twitter at the Ferg Nine One, and then you can find me on Instagram. We're going doing more stuff on the Instagram, just showing all the weird shit that we do uh, at Bad Inputs. Yeah. Uh, where can I find you? You can find me at Twitch.tv slash Frankenstein. Nah, you can find me at Twitch.tv slash Bad Inputs. It's with bad two with D's. two D's. Yeah. <laughs> on that bitch, and you can find me at Twitter at. Tokosh 15? <laughs> oh, wait. You're not using Tokalurk anymore? Is that my Twitter? Yeah, Tokalurk 15. Yeah, yeah. Tokalurk 15. Yeah, yeah. I for- forgot my own. <laughs> hey, you can follow us on Twitter at Bad Inputs, spelled normally. Eloy. <laughs> I've seen this. What great can they find you? They can find me Stop, Drop, and Kaboomin. Oh. On Twitter. Stupid. 
Yolay underscore Valentine. Check it out. Have you seen? Have you seen that video? Yes. No. The you haven't. You haven't seen it. No. This is a picture of the Burger King lettuce. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I swear to God, that's how it starts. It's so funny. It's, that video is so fucking weird. Uh, All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.